Dang right, it's game week. About time. What we got? So, so speaking of game week, what do you think about the defense that you're facing this week? Watch the crowd, watch the Yeah, I've got a um, little bit of a past history uh, with Frank, you know, being at Boston College for several years. So, um, we've spent quite a bit of time in the offseason studying them. I, I feel we're, we're familiar with what they're trying to do, you know, but I think uh, you saw early in the season last year in particular uh, when they were healthy, they played really good football. Um, they've got quite a new, they've, quite, they've got quite a group of new faces, you know, that this will be their first opportunity and obviously they'll have some offseason wrinkles, but um, the main focus for our players is it's about our preparation, it's about our habits, uh, it's about our process to get ready to go play. Um, and yesterday being their day off, today was our Tuesday format. Uh, and I really felt like we took a step just in terms of what's required to get ready for a game today. I thought we had a good practice. I was pleased with our meetings this morning. Um, and we took a step forward today. Uh, I think we're making progress. What would be some good signs operationally for fans or for the Well, I, you want, we want to play with great tempo. You know, we want our procedures to be really sound. I think. Uh, we want our quarterback to own the football and make great decisions and distribute the football and take what the defense gives him. You know, we want to be efficient on first down and, and try to keep third down manageable. Uh, when we get into the red area, we want to score touchdowns. Um, we're going to try to create big plays and rush the football, uh, but also, you know, if we can establish the run, I think that allows us to create some more big plays. So balance is important, you know, and then Obviously, we need our better players to play really well. Uh, but more than anything, we want to we want to zero in on what we've got to do between now and kickoff. Do you have any preference? I'm sorry, but for you personally, does that bring your first ever game at Arizona State, being back as a defensive coordinator after six or so years, has to be a little special? Yeah, I uh, was thinking about that riding into work this morning, you know. Um, I used to t I tell people all the time, if I could still play, I'd play. Give me a helmet, uh, you know, give me some cleats and give me 10 other guys and we'll go move the ball and play. Um, but this is the closest thing to that, you know, so I often equate it to that. So I'm excited. It's been, uh, it's great to see our players with a, you know, they know that it's time, you know, and, and uh, just reading a little bit this morning before we got started in work, you know, you reap what you sow. Um, and I feel great about the work that we put in this offseason. I'm excited about the product that we're going to put out there. Do you have any preference between starting the season at home against a group five team like this compared to maybe a more marquee game against a power five team at a neutral site? Yeah, I think um, I've been a part of some of those marquee games at neutral sites the last couple of years, and I think they're a great way to start your season. I think it gives you a little bit more focus as you prepare. Uh, but with this team and our current situation uh, at Arizona State, um, this team played Kentucky to a barn burner last year. You know, they've got our respect. Um, we know that they're capable, you know, and, and I think that for us, we, we really need to take a step forward just in terms of our process and how we prepare, you know, and, and that's our focus. You know, you got to go one week at a time. I know that sounds cliche, but it's so true, you know, and, and you start over every week, you restart your process, and. Today was a good quality Tuesday practice. Obviously, as a staff, we'll continue to move forward our, with our planning. But I do think you're on to something there in terms of those, um, you know, big time opener classic games where you play a, a power five team in a, in a neutral site. And I think a couple, just a couple years ago, you played A&M here in the opener. So you've been a part of that. You knew, you know, that was a special event. So, um, you know, those, those decisions are part far beyond my uh, pay grade, but definitely enjoyed being a part of those in the past. Uh, sorry, Bill, you talked about establishing the run. That's something that the team struggled with last year. What's the number one ingredient that you guys need to be able to do that? Well, to me, it's mentality. It's mindset. It's uh, It doesn't just start when you blow the whistle, you know, to kick the ball, you know, on Thursday night. That started a long time ago, you know. Uh, go back to the very beginning when you're really trying to establish your identity, what's your brand of football going to be. Um, 
I think any the, the championship football teams at every level, at some point or another, are going to have to rush the ball and play with a mentality, a physical uh, approach, and uh, you know even situationally you're going to need it. Even if you're 60 percent pass, you know there's going to be third and shorts and goal line situations and uh, two down situations where you're going to have to rush the ball. So. I think overall, it's a an approach, it's a culture, it's an identity, it's a mindset, it's a mentality, um, and and that's that's the key to the drill. Aggressive in everything we do, whether it's a perimeter screen or a, a go ball for a touchdown, uh, we're attacking, you know, and that that's the approach you want to take. Do you feel good about where you guys are at right now in regards to that? Oh, I think we'll see Thursday, you know, but I feel like uh, at times we've. We showed that we can rush the ball, you know, and I, I think our front seven um, is much improved, and I think they've added some players there that have helped them, and I think guys have had good offseason. So, you know, it's a work in progress. It always is, but, uh, you know, each week we'll evaluate where we're at and uh, try to put our players in position to win. I saw Nick Wilson getting some first reps. Uh, what have you seen from him so far in the well, Nick, you know, has been banged up quite a bit throughout training camp, uh, and you guys know that. But I think as he gets closer and closer to being healthy, you know, he'll be more game ready. But Nick's a great utility player for us. He's an outstanding uh, young man in terms of his character and his discipline and his approach. Um, and he's a guy that's going he's going to get an opportunity to play, whether that uh, he's a starter. You know, I mean, we got a lot of got lots of guys that I consider starters that may not run out there in the first play. So. And Nick is in that category. When you have such a, a new staff that's working together for the first time, I'm not saying it's that apprehension from the first game, but that's something you really want to make sure you hone down from the beginning, just the communication to and from the box and the sideline. Yeah, we, we've worked on that. You know, we've had several um, meetings. We've had several dress rehearsals. We, we treated scrimmages that way to some degree. Obviously, any time you, it's your first real show you know there's going to be some things that you got to clean up but uh, we spend lots of time talking about it and putting our processes in place and we'll do even more of that as we get closer to the game this week you have a lot of freshmen on this team what type of impact do you think they'll have starting off this season well i think you know most most of the time you're going to have a handful of rookies that can impact your team and contribute to your team uh, some have more maturity than others, you know, and as a competitors, we're going to find out, you know, what type of competitors they are once we get into game situations. So uh, some have shown more promise than others. Some have growth um, that's still left out there that they need to do. But uh, we're going to keep coaching those guys, and I think at some point or another, there'll be a rookie that'll make a, a difference and have a significant contribution. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you.